Hi, Bosco. So firstly, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your business? Yes, uh, You Can Cook is a social enterprise and was set up in 2007 by myself. Uh, what it does is we go all around Scotland doing cookery classes, workshops, demos around food and health and budgeting skills. So also we have the element of You Can Grow where we teach people how to convert their decorative gardens to edible gardens and also we were the first uh, social enterprise in the UK to build an organic training uh, garden on primary school grounds which is still running and still we are running training programs on it. And what are the biggest obstacles uh, to and challenges to, to prevent people from learning how to cook or getting the best out of their food? Uh, one big element is uh, the cheap availability of uh, ready meals, uh, you know, tinned food, uh, uh, takeaways uh, over the last 30 years. So there's been a generation or two that have grown up not knowing how to cook or not being around someone that was cooking and serving them the food. So that's one big, uh, big, massive barrier. And the other thing is that people think it's cheap, but it's not because, for example, I always give an example of, uh, you know, pork uh, sausages available in the supermarket. A pack of six or eight costs a pound, but the meat content is that from anywhere from three to six percent. And the rest are all chemicals. So actually, you're just paying for chemicals. You're not paying for proper food. And so for us... We knew it was going to take many years because it was a behavioral change. Like it took this country 20, 30 years to get where they are, it would take probably similar time for people to really understand that they have to start cooking from scratch. And so for me, that's the big barrier uh, and also the time that it will take for people to understand that. So what are the main benefits of a healthy and nutritious diet? Uh, one definitely is you are a lot happier. You will have less, in my opinion, anxiety and all the other behavioral problems that occur with it, like hyperactivity in kids. And you see, uh, we have come across uh, parents uh, at our session that go, oh, my, my child is all hyper. And I, and I said, so what are they eating? And then they list the, the, the you know, what they're giving the, the child. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Okay, I said, these are the things that are causing your child to be hi hyperactive. So people don't realize it's the food, for example, they're giving their children that are causing these uh, health problems. They are health problems, which then go on to become worse. So what we are saying is, have ready meals from time to time. Okay, you go out, eat, but also learn the basics. And what we realize is, people know to cook. There are some people that cook a absolutely delicious lasagna. Absolute delicious pie, absolute delicious curry, absolute delicious casserole, absolutely delicious soup. That's it. That's it. And what we did was we teach people how to cook from scratch because we believe if you have the foundation and you know the interaction of ingredients, then you can go on to become even a master chef, basically. But that's not what we are aiming for as an organization. But we want people to be aware that what goes into your body reacts with your body either good way or bad way that's up to you so when you first start working with a client what is a typical uh, recipe that you would that you would work with them on uh, well for example uh, the classic example comes is young people uh, and uh, coming from disadvantaged areas who are only used to eating fish and chips you know ready meals and all the stuff and burgers as well so what we do is at the very first session we say right let's cook a fish and chips or a burger and they go oh because in their head, it's like considered not healthy. And I'm like, no, it, it can be healthy if you cook at home. This is how you cook it. And they just are blown away because they have never tasted something like this. And, and so that's what we would cook to start with. Again, all our services are bespoke. So we don't have a template. We don't say this is what we do. We don't have a standardized, you know, approach to doing things. We work with our clients because we believe that's the best way to get the whole benefit out of their interaction with us. So if, for instance, someone's vegan or, or has a gluten intolerance, you, you would factor that in when you're, when you're putting together the plan? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, uh, if we also explain to people why there's such a massive epidemic of these conditions as, 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 as well. And, and our website, which is an information research, uh, we say to them, go and learn and read research papers, read the backdrop to why we are where we are today. Because in my 
opinion if you don't understand the background then you really can't make a difference or a change you really need to get and what we do is as i say we sow the seeds and we give people how we direct them into a point them in the right direction and we say now it's up to you okay and do you, do you have any any plans exciting plans for the future well we are tr- uh, going to uh, launch our last bit which is you know our first was you can cook you can grow we have launched and the last one was you can eat what that means is we are planning to open an eatery sometime soon in edinburgh where it will be around good food it won't have a label of a, a cuisine or any type people will come there just to eat good food that's it Excellent. Thank you again, Bosco, and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you very much, James. Thank you. Thank you.